Yeah, we'll, we'll show some fun pictures. So, golden mean ratio is all over your body. DNA is based almost exclusively, entirely on golden mean ratio. Beautiful pictures of that we'll show you here. So would it be safe to say that biology is based on the golden mean ratio? That life naturally organizes itself in accordance to 0.618 ratio? It's so perfect. In fact, that is so correct that the name philotaxis and philo and feel, philotaxis, which means perfect branching in the way trees branch and flowers unfold, called philotaxis, perfect branching arborescence, is named for phi, the golden mean ratio, because the Fibonacci progression leads to golden mean ratio. It's called maximum exposure, minimum superposition. And that becomes our word divine, to branch perfectly, which means sacred. It becomes our word scion, scion, to branch, priori de sion, priori of perfect branching. It just means that you might be a chip off your old block. <laughs> we like your dad, too. <laughs> and you're fractal, right? <laughs> so our word science literally comes from scion, scion, S-C-I-O-N, which is a name for a branch in tree pruning. So branching perfectly is exactly what describes information distribution efficiency. So would one illustration of branching and phylotaxis would be perhaps if we were to reverse engineer a tree that has grown and has a number of limbs and branches and leaves, if we were to have a time-elapsed camera showing that in reverse going back to the seed, would that be an example of compressing charge? That's beautiful because what is at the same time perfect unpacking is the definition of what is perfect packing. And this is our issue. Perfect non-destructive compression is what thus enables perfect unpacking or distribution. So in a fractal you have such efficient squeezing that when it comes time for the waves to unpack you get perfected charge distribution. And we're hypothesizing that an electrician's definition of consciousness and life is actually perfected charge distribution due to golden ratio fractality. To say again, defining life for electric field engineers. New definition of life. Hello, this is a little bit radical, exciting, no? <laughs> a new definition of life for electrical engineers is the perfected distribution of electric charge permitted specifically by golden mean ratio optimized fractality. And could it be said that structures or organisms with the absence of this perfect charge compression would be, well, what would you give a word for that? Well. That's the right question, again, that if the electric field made by a structure is not fractal, then charge distribution bleeds and life dies. And what could you say about the current state of architecture in the world? Therein lies the problem. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. It's, it's a very simple experiment. You could do this experiment for 10 cents in every architecture college on planet Earth. You take 100 germinating seeds, you put them in a little dish. Now, keeping the temperature and moisture the same, you put that little dish inside a metal cage. Guess what? The seeds die. <gasps> Now, you take those same seeds and you put them in the center of a pattern of paramagnetic stone, like Stonehenge, and the seeds go bloop, 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 and they grow beautifully. Oh, is that a complicated experiment? Gee, it cost 10 cents to do it. How come they didn't do that experiment in your architecture college? And the analogy, right, is that the steel cage is equivalent to the steel frame of most modern buildings. That's the point. Thank you. Thank you. Let's be clear. So. We need to understand why it is that a metal building kills a germinating seed. This needs to be taught to your architecture professors. That's why we're here. So we're here to explain the principle, the physics, the details of why that is so. Because we saw that all of DNA and all of life is based on golden ratio. We know for centuries that Everybody who talked about sacred buildings and sacred architecture was always talking about golden mean ratio. The Parthenon, golden mean ratio. The sarcophagus and the Great Pyramid, golden mean ratio. The pyramid itself, golden mean ratio. And just to be clear, when you say golden mean ratio in relation to these different buildings, you're talking about the either the curvature and how that, uh, if you were to have lines, so that would be 
1.618 between each different curve or in the example of the pyramids maybe you could describe how golden mean ratio interrelates and, and interacts with those structures. There's a hundred ways in which the golden mean ratio appears in the Great Pyramid, but the simplest one just for now, the width to the length of the sarcophagus in the Great Pyramid, the width to the length of the Parthenon. Very, very simple. I mean, there's lots of ways. We, we'll do some animations later. But what we want to explain now is that we wish to define that beauty for electricians for physicists, for scientists, we want a definition of what it is that defines beauty in a way that it becomes measurable so that we can come to a, a rigorous, meaningful definition of the sacred, definition of biologic architecture. And that's where we have some clues. Where I'm going with this is that if you put a capacitor in the center of those structures like Stonehenge or